Hi everyone, and welcome back to another tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to deploy Cisco Secure Firewall Management Center, FMC, Virtual Appliance version 7.4.1 in KVM running on top of Ubuntu version 22.04. Now let's start by heading over to the Virtual Manager. Okay, so from the Virtual Machine Manager, click on File, New Virtual Machine, then Support, select Import Existing This Image, click on Forward, then click on Browse, select the location of the QCAL image that you have downloaded. Select the image and then choose volume. Now for the type of operating system, you can select generic OS unknown, right? And then click forward. The minimum memory requirement for FMCV is 28 gig. Then the minimum virtual CPU is 4. Right? For the latest or the later version of FMC, especially 7.3 and above, uh, you need at least 28 gig RAM and 4 CPU for the VM to run properly. Now, I think less than this, the virtual machine might not uh, spin up. Next, click forward, give it a meaningful name. For my lab environment, I'm keeping it simple. Importantly, remember to click on Customize Configuration before install as we need to tweak the settings before we begin installation. Click Finish. It will bring you to the Configuration page. Okay, first, make sure that you have a uh, the copy host CPU configuration check so that you pass all the system information across. If not, you have to figure out what CPU you are using, which can be a challenge if you configure it wrongly, right? Next, just verify that we have enough memory. And then uh, on the ID, this part, this is important, you need to change this from ID to virtual I.O. Right? Make sure you choose virtual I.O. Then click on apply. For the network configuration, I am adding my FMC to my management network. So 10.76.0 is my management network. So I'm going to choose that. And then for display, I usually use VMC server because uh, the earlier version of KVM, uh, the Spice display sometimes doesn't work with the keyboard, right? So to be safe, I always use VNC. I click on apply. Now, if you want to configure Telnet console, what you can do is click on Add Hardware, and then select Serial, click on Finish, and then go to XML. You need to enable this from the preference. You need to configure the following. Okay. Make sure you select your type for TCP, protocol, telnet, and then configure a host IP that is not in use, and then a port that is not in use, which in my case is port 10013. Click on apply. Oops. Okay, there's an error here. Make sure you do not make the mistake I make. Right, apply the serial console, and the last step you want to do is to add a watchdog service. So what it does is that for the watchdog service, it 
forcefully reset the gas if anything goes wrong, right? So this will allow you to sort of uh, automate a little bit of uh, automation in case you know something goes wrong. Uh, the VM detects it, it will automatically reset the gas. Okay, once that is done, just click on begin installation here. And you will do a quick ver verification. If there's no error, then you will see that the machine launches. Smaller. So you can see it. And it will take about between 30 to 30 minutes to an hour to fully boot up the systems and run the necessary script right to make sure that uh, the fmc server is booted up correctly so i'm going to pause the video and let the system boot up and then we'll come back to complete the installation okay, now that it's installed all i do is to log in Right, the default username is admin and the password is capital A D M I N one two three admin one two three. Now when you log in for the first time it will prompt you for the um, reading of the EULA so you can hit enter you can go to the link provided to look through the end user license agreement if you agree press enter or yes now for security reason, the first thing you want to do is to change your default password, right? So let's give it a more secure password. Reconfirm the password one more time. And then the network configuration wizard will kick in. I'm going to give it a host name. Right, and if you have your DNS set up, you want to give it a FQDN, fully qualifiable domain name. Okay. And then uh, you can choose DHCP or manual to configure the IP address. We're going to do it manually this time. And uh, my management network is 10.76.0 plus C, and uh, we'll give it. 40 for this FMC. Some net 255.255.255.0 or class C. Okay, and then default gateway that you will need to get to the internet. DNS, we're going to use the default umbrella DNS. And then uh, the network time server, the NTP server, we're going to use the default. And then once you check the configuration is correct, Press yes to continue. It takes a couple of uh, about a minute to update the config. Okay, the update is done. You'll see a the prompt like the greater than sign prompt, and you know that the update has been completed. Now, once this is done, right? Uh, the Deployment of the FMCV in KVM is officially completed. Now, what I want to do is to show you, right, the console. Right, so let's just uh, make this bigger. Oh, sorry, the GUI interface or the web interface. HTTPS followed by the IP address, right? You can ignore the certificate as we have not trust the certificate yet. Okay, enter in admin followed by the password that you have set. And the configuration deployment is done. Now you might want to activate the FMC with smart license by paste, pasting your token here. 
right? Or you can always uh, start with a 90 days trial first. We're going to start with the 90 days valuation trial. I will deploy or, you know, register the smart license later. Click on save. <coughs> now you can come and register the FMC, right, under the license, under the settings, smart license uh, tab, right? If you click on this, Right, you can come here and register the FMC. That's all there is for this tutorial. Hope you learned something from this uh, video. And in the next video, I'll show you how to onboard the uh, FTD or FTD virtual appliance onto FMC. Thank you for watching. Take care and stay safe.